Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Left 4 Dead 2 Curve Rocket Tutorial. Today I'll be uh, attempting to teach you guys how to successfully curve a uh, tank rock. Now first of all, what is a curve rock? Here's an example, maybe it should be pretty self-explanatory. Now basically, a curve rock is when a tank throws a rock that's not released from its usual rock release position. So it allows either to be thrown from behind cover, or be thrown so that survivors not sure what side of the tank the rock will be coming from. Now keep in mind the rocks don't actually curve, it's pretty much like trying to curve a bullet. In reality the rock is just being thrown from a different angle of where it usually would. Curve rock is just what people call it. Now before I even begin explaining the basic concepts of uh, curve rock, you need to know the very basics of tank rocks. First of all, there are three different rock throws available, all of which are random selection. Now you have the one-handed overhand, the two-handed overhand, and the underhand. If you didn't already know, the underhand throw needs to be aimed a bit higher and more to the top left of your crosshair due to it being released from the hip of the tank, or this happens. Now each of these throws has its own pros and cons for curve rocking. The one-handed overhand and underhand throws are by far the easiest to curve up with, so we'll be also be working with these two throws. Now getting right down to it, first off we'll cover the one-handed overhand throw. Now the general idea is to turn your camera away from where you want to throw it right up until the rock is released. So that's when you want to swing your camera back towards your target in a smooth manner. Now keep in mind you have to compensate for where the rock is actually coming from, meaning you have to aim a bit further left or right of your target depending on which way you're throwing. In this case, throwing from right to left, I aimed a bit to the left of my target to compensate for the rock being released from the far right side of my body. Now if you swing your camera around too early or too fast, you're bound to fail like I did here. The timing is crucial, it takes a bit of practice to get the timing down right, but once you get used to it, it's pretty easy. If you didn't already know, rocks can be curved both ways. The same concept applies here, you just have to get the timing down right. Now for underhand throws, it's the same concept once again, but the rock is already being released from one side of the tank's body, so you don't have to turn your camera as much compared to the overhand throws. Believe it or not, the underhand throw can be thrown from the left side of the tank's body, meaning if your cover is on your right, you can still do work. The same concepts apply here. As well, you just need to work on the timing once again. Personally, I find the left to right throw is easier to do from behind cover. Now, here's a general idea of what a curve rock will look like from a survivor's point of view. Now, moving on to the two handed overhand throw. Now, this is generally the throw you don't want to try to curve, however, it can still be really useful if you use it correctly. As you can see, it just isn't possible to throw around objects like the other two throws. A way to counter this is to use it in the open. As you can see, just the way the rock leaves the tank's body looks ridiculous, making it very confusing for survivors to know exactly where it's coming from. Now, the general idea behind this is to turn your camera so that the tank's back is always facing the survivors. In essence, you want the rock releasing backwards of the tank, which increases the uh, element of surprise for the survivors. Now once again, this is all a matter of timing and practice. Once you get it down, it pretty much becomes second nature. Now before I wrap things up, I just want to show you some real world examples. In close quarters where there's pretty much no cover for the survivors, curve rocks can come in really handy. And if you get the right throw, you can pretty much guarantee yourself a rocket. Now the one-handed overhand is a great example because if you do it right, the rock is essentially traveling from right to left or vice versa. And that's the way a survivor will try to dodge a rock close quarters. Now, curve rocking essentially makes the rock hitbox twice as big if you do it right. To sum things up, curve rocks are a handy way to throw rocks from behind cover or to trick survivors in the open. Now, the chances of failing are high, it's either hit or miss, so use it wisely. Now keep in mind, curve rocking only works in Left 4 Dead 2, so don't be wasting time within Left 4 Dead 1. Well, I hope this has been of help to you guys. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment section below. And remember, this is just a matter of practice, so don't get frustrated if you keep failing. If you're confused, just rewind and rewatch how I throw these and try to imitate it. Chances are you'll succeed. So have fun and rock away.